Madison Park, my name is Bethany. I'm here on staff at the church. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the groups tab in our church center app. So when you open the app, you're going to be at the home screen here. And if you navigate to the more bar, you'll be able to click on the groups tab. Here you're going to see any groups that you're a part of on the top part of the app, as well as find any additional groups here at the bottom. So if I wanted to find a group to join, I could click on a, a type of group, whether that be a small group, an interest group, those would be listed there. Say I wanna join a small group. Now I could scroll through and look for any groups that I'd like to join, or I could narrow it down by using a filter. To do that, I can click on the filter button here next to the search bar. I could go in and select, I'm an adult. Uh, as far as experiences, well, I am a female, so I'm gonna look for some female groups. And you know, I'm only available on Tuesdays, so I'm gonna look for groups that are available on Tuesdays. So if there are any that meet those criteria, when you click done, those guys are gonna show up here. And so I can look through and see which group I would like to join. You know, this group looks really great. If I click on it, I'm gonna be able to read a little bit more about it. When do they meet? What time? Where do they meet? And then if I think this is something I might wanna check out, I can click request to join. And I could type in a little message. And then when I click send, it's going to send a request to the leader of that group to review and reach back out to you if you had any questions. At that point, they might let you come and help uh, you can join the group and participate in that group. So when you join a group, there's a lot of really cool things that you can do. For example, here I am part of the Young Married Couples small group. When I click on the group, I can see instantly some messages. If your leader has messaging set up for your group, you'll be able to see those messages here. And in those, you're able to have conversations with the group members uh, without having a group chat separate from the app. It's really exciting um, and you can do that there. Additionally, you can jump over to the events tab and you can see some of the upcoming events for your small group. So you might see your weekly occurrence of the small group or any additional events that you guys have decided to do as a group. For example, I can click on this event and I'm gonna see the location, any details, and I can even RSVP to let my leaders know that I'll be there. Additionally, we have resources that are available. My group currently doesn't have any resources available, but if there were some discussion questions that you were talking about for the day or you needed some sermon notes, we could put those there. Your leaders could put those there so that you have access to those. And finally, you have access to the members in your group. You can choose what information you would like to be visible to other group members, um, but you will always be able to see uh, what your leader allows you to see, which is super cool. And I believe that is the main functionalities of the group. So if you have any questions, feel free to text MP help, MP help to 40727 and we'll reach out to you as soon as possible with some help. Thanks.